Hello, it'd be me, Jet Suzuki, and we all know the deal for Sonic Generations. Released for Sonic's 20th anniversary on Xbox 360, PS3, and the 3DS, with the PC version coming later. It's a good game, a great game even, consisting of some great remixes of older stages, wonderful renditions of older songs, sick bosses, the list goes on. Definitely one of my favorite Sonic games to play, and if you play it on PC, you can mod the game, and that's what I'm here to talk to you all about today. Sonic Generations Mods. Let's talk about them. Sonic games are no strangers to mods, especially Generations, which still gets mods to this day. It's a game I definitely come back to and play more than most, and the game gets even better with mods. Sometimes. The game has a lot of mods I want to cover, but I don't have the time, so today I'll mostly be covering level mods, and if you ask me, a great place to start is Camelot Castle from Sonic and the Black Knight. One of the first stages in Black Knight, Camelot Castle is one of my favorite stages from that game, and this stage mod brings a beautiful recreation of it to the game. There's even a Black Knight Sonic skin mod that gives him Calibur and his glove from the game. It also turns Super Sonic into Excalibur Sonic. It even changes the title screen and changes Shadow and Silver to Lancelot and Galahad from the game, so you can get a damn near complete package. From console to handheld, we've got Water Palace from Sonic Rush. And we're done! <laughs> Okay, so Water Palace and Generations actually looks really good and is a damn near one-to-one -one recreation of the actual stage and it is amazing. Everything about it screams Sonic Rush and I'm glad they included the stage in the 3DS version of the game. Though I do wish they included more like a stage from the sequel Rush Adventure or the Advance games. That could actually be a fun video talking about some of the stages I'd like to have seen in the 3DS version of Generations. Maybe one day. Sticking to a Nintendo theme though. Babam Battlefield from Mario 64. The first stage in the game has been actually remade in all its 64 glory. And it's great to just sort of run around in, just uh, don't end up in a cannon, you're not getting out. But if you're looking for a more traditional Sonic stage, GameCube Galaxy might be up your alley. A completely original stage that is absolutely stunning. Stun stunning? Stunning. <laughs> Sadly, it's not great for a speed-based platformer like Sonic since all the pro makes it damn near impossible to see where anything is or where I'm supposed to go. Everything blends together in a game where, like Sonic, where visual cues are your best fucking friend, not being able to see is an absolute nightmare. Oh, and the camera can sometimes be even worse, making it even worse of a nightmare since it'll sometimes just freak the fuck out for no goddamn reason. Jesus! Moving on, Grendel Travelers and Sonic Heroes. I loved this stage in Heroes, and it's great to be able to play it in one of my favorite games. It also has some pretty neat ways of recreating certain sections from the original stage. And just like in Heroes, the Lightspeed Dash still is not your friend! But that aside, it is dope. Sky Rail from SA2, baby! Hell yeah, we're moving on! Shadow Stage from SA2, Sky Rail is a dope ass candy stage, and this recreation is a super faithful one. In the original game, it's as if it was stripped straight out from the game for generations. Obviously remixed, the way most of the stages are, all of City Escape, Crisis City, it, and again it's a remix. Next up on the list is Rainbow Road from Mario Kart. Rainbow Road is one of the most famous tracks in Mario Kart history of various renditions. The ultimate test of skill at the game. And in this game, it is definitely the ultimate test. That is to say, it's the ultimate test of your fucking patience. First things first, do not fucking boost. Just forget that button even exists. The amount of times I did on, died on this stage is actually annoying. This stage is fucking difficult for no reason. Do not ever press that boost button. I had to do basically the whole stage without boosting because boosting just sent me flying off the ed edge and even drifting could barely help. Aside from the amount of times I died from the beginning, the stage is actually kind of fun, if not super fucking long. Seeming like it takes aspects of different Rainbow Roads, such as this part being seemingly based off of the Wii version, or the beginning part being very similar to N64 Rainbow Road. Still fuck Rainbow Road though. Moving on! Sunset Heights from Sonic Forces. I know shitting on forces is the cool thing to do, 
but the game does have some really pretty stages, especially on PC. And this stage is a really dope one to run around and run through, especially in a dope ass game like Generations. Sadly, the stage is still way too short, but it is fun to just blast through a recreation of one of Forces' better stages. Now, onto the final mod of the video, a completely original stage, Shivery Mountainside. God, this mod is gorgeous. It starts out with you snowboarding out of a cabin and down a mountain and on some buildings before you go running through the rest of the stage. You get to run through some of the cadgings, dodging bombs and the like. There's a cave section that has transitioned into this red crystal section that has you drifting on the red water. It looks super cool, and it's super tricky to do since you need to keep your speed up. Thankfully, there's a grind rail right here so you can completely avoid the water section. Oh, and did I mention the music? Because if not, listen! It's a dope ass song for a dope ass mod. And that's all the mods I've got to show y'all for today. But there's a ton more I'd like to show, because Generations has a lot of great mods like the Unleashed Project, which brings a bunch of world adventure stages into the game like Savannah Citadel or Dragon Road. And the Generations Reimagined mod, which changes some of the stages like turning Green Hill into Blizzard Peace, giving it a more snowy, moony aesthetic. And even having Sky Sanctuary take place in space. There's even a mod that has the white world shader effect, making it look more like the opening where Sonic runs through the world restoring the color to it as you play. This game is sick, and even if it gets boring sometimes, modding it makes it a million times more fun and amazing than it already is. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm glad I could finally get this video out there and play through some really dope stage mods for generations. I don't know what game I'll be covering next in this season, but only time will tell. But I do have a lot to cover. Anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting your time. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't, you can tell me how much I suck about the YouTuber and the VTuber in the comment section down below. I'm gonna go play Spider-Man 2 now since it just came out. Peace out and enjoy yourself.